Hey y'all, it's Sheik and this is The Beat. I'm here with a special guest today. I've been hunting her down, Miss Melissa Mitchell. Go ahead and introduce, tell the people who you is. I am Melissa Mitchell. I am the founder, CEO, the everything, all the hyphens for ABL Creations, um, a wearable art design house. Founded here in Atlanta about 10 years ago, but I always say that it found me 10 years ago. Okay, so let's just jump into that. Why do yeah. you say it found you? Um, I wasn't looking, you know how people talk about relationships, like I wasn't looking yeah. for a man. <laughs> um, I was looking for my why, mm. and I feel like art was like on my back heavy yeah. my whole life. I've always been the girl with big earrings, you know, I used to wrap t-shirts on my head before head wraps were a thing. Um, they tell you to wear all black. I always say, well, is it, is, can we not wear yellow shoes? I was right. always can trying I to be different. I was always the colorful rogue. And when I began to paint, I was like, okay, this, this is my jam. I yeah. found my why. And it just, it just never went away. I love that. Yeah. Okay. So what's your favorite nineties style? Cause you know, nineties got all the colors. Um, I used to love funny, funny or not. I used to love to stack my, my socks. Oh. I used to do the scrunchy socks. And I used to redo my nails every day for school. So if I was wearing pink one day, I know it was just, it was like a ritual. Like I would lay my accessories out, change my nail color, have my socks laid out. So by the time I woke up in the morning, my stuff was like military style, like this shoe, this shirt. Like it was very just like thought out. Yeah. So very intentional. So even fifth, sixth, seventh grade, I was treating myself as a canvas. Mm. And so now that I look back, I was like, wow, that was who I was always going to be. I love that. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love your energy. Listen, I, like I said, I've been <laughs> hunting you down. I'm like, I see her. You're like, I got you. Yeah. I, I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. I was like, here's my real number. Not the Google number. <laughs> right. Not the website number. Here's my real cell phone number. And then here we are. And you are a busy woman. So it's 10 years yeah. for yeah. ABL Creations. Yeah. Um, just tell me, what, what does that feel like for you? Um, it's funny because it, 10 years, you know, when you hear somebody say 10 years, 20 years, I can see how you could be married for 30 years mm -hmm. and it just fly by. Um, because when you look at like the success of your business, it's in waves. Like, oh, the first three years, the first five years, I really feel like, although I got my LLC 10 years ago, I feel like five years ago is when the switch went off. Like you can be a millionaire from this. Wow. This can be an empire. So while it's been 10 years of like brushing it out. I think five, literally. Yeah, yeah, literally, yeah. <laughs> the last three to five years have been like an amazing, just continuous um, climb up, the, climb up the ladder of success. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you know, we all want to know about the name. Okay? Yes, the yes. The name, but I'm gonna say this. What? Yellow dress girl. Yes. Tell me. That's me. Okay. That's me. Um, when I. Before I was born, my dad was having dreams about this little girl, and she had on a yellow dress. And this before they, you know, this back in the day, so they ain't really have no advanced sonogram. Uh -huh. They had to wait till like three or four months to find out the sex. Oh, wow. And um, he said, I would always come to him in dreams in yellow. Mm -hmm. And so he was at the time studying the productivity of bees. Wow. Um, was he a scientist? No, my dad was a pastor. Wow. So, but he was, you know, just like us, we have, he's just very, like, he was a thinker. So mm. if he thought about, so, you know, back in the day, it wasn't you no Google. Right, you want. You go get a book. Right. So he said he was reading. Yeah. The man that came to the house selling books. So he would buy books and he said he was so fascinated by the, just the, the genotype and how bees were just able to fly because geograph, I mean, just, just by, their body, ergonomically, they're not supposed to be able to fly. Mm. Because they have such a heavy body, and their wings are right, so and they're so small, but they don't know that. They're like, well, I don't know what y'all talking about. I got these wings. I'm going to fly. And when I was born, he wanted to pay homage to that message that God was giving him of the bees and the yellow dress. And my name was Melissa, which means honeybee in ABL, also means honeybee in French. So, a bear is how they say it in French. We know we black. Are you we French from, Creole or just black? I'm from Miami. Okay. Well, listen. <laughs> but my family is from the Bahamas. Okay. Uh, but they speak, you know, the King's English. But ABL just stood out to me. And when I began to, you know, really grow in the brand, people could not pronounce ABL. I'm like, why can they not pronounce this? And then I had written out the letters A, B, and L. And God was like, you will have a better life. When you follow your dreams, you will have a better life. And ABL is obviously ABL the word, but also the letter A, B, and L 
um, the acronym is like when you choose to follow your dreams, like that's when you unlock it. I love that's that. when the better life comes is when you choose to be yourself. And so that was five years ago. 2019 is when God gave me that download. And I be a- I've been ABL and ABLing since then. Listen, all all over. It's the all States, intentional. Okay? Yeah, it's all intentional. And um, you just got back from Essence Fest. Yes. Now this is ten. Is this ten years at Essence for you? Um, no, I've been going to Essence probably like twenty or so wow, years okay. since college. What yeah. was different about this year's Essence Fest for you? If I had to compare it to the first time, I feel like social media makes people interact a whole lot less. And I know that sounds like an old person, but everybody was on their phones. Like, even at the concerts, back in the day, you had to pay for your roaming after 9 p.m. Come on. So you saw more people. And I think it's dope because you get to share your experience. But I look back on when I was there, I have very few pictures from Essence Fest. Very few videos. And that's how I know I was so locked in that I was like, girl, put your phone down. Like, it wasn't. So, like, now... I'm so locked in my phone. My phone is next to me in the interview. <laughs> Back in the day, I would have given this phone to someone else. And I was like, wow, we were just so in tune or like we were so into the moment. But I think the plus side of it, I think I'm able to do more yeah. and connect with more people. Like, hey, everybody meet me here versus trying to figure out how to connect with your you know, your audience. Mm-hmm. So I think there's always pros and cons. It's to, just a good navigation. Yeah, it's, it's progression and technology and just people. But um I think Essence just has its own personality every year. Yeah. Like this year, I was a boss. Like I was. You was on the stage. I was bossing. And you was talking to Mr. I was about Jay, Jay Bolin. Bolin. How, um, what was that? Did you? And I read your post. You was not expecting that. Ma'am, that morning, I was up at 3 a.m. Because, you know, we were an hour behind when you were in New Orleans because we were ahead. And so I was just up, you know, whatever. My phone is flashed. I'm like, what they, what they want? <laughs> this is essence, you know, the team saying, hey, there's been some changes on stage. Um, you need to go first. Um, your time slot to present the head wraps, that needs to go last. So they changed my whole day around. I was like, I'm going to brunch. I'm going to a party. I'm <laughs> going to get some free hair bourbon. products. Okay. And, you know, I was, like, agitated because I'm a Taurus. I'm very, like, A, B, C, D. Oh, yeah. You know, we already, like, very regimented. And so I was shook. I was like, Lord, this is going to be messing me up. So as I'm, like, pulling up my leggings – Putting on my head wrap, they called me again. I was like, y'all, I'm on the way to the convention center. Like, what now? She's like, hey, what you doing after you speak at 11? I was like, well, I'm going to get something to eat. We're going to hang out. She said, no, I need you to stay in the convention center because we have a celebrity session. I was like, girl, what y'all want me to do? She's like, well, I think you might like this one. She was like, we thought about everybody that could, um, you know, interview Jay Bolin. Mm-hmm. Um, you're a woman of faith. You're an entrepreneur. You're in fashion. Your energies are aligned. We think it'd be a good look. I mean, we met, we talk on social, but he was like, you're everything and more than what I thought. That's amazing. And so what started off as like disheveled, you know, like, what am I going to do? How's the day going to turn out? Turned out to be everything, you know, beyond my my prayers and, and the belief. And so that was a Friday. You know, I was there for three days in the convention center. But that really set the tone for like, I can take what you think is going to be a disaster and turn it into something beautiful. Okay. And so it was a total, I mean, the connections I made that day, yeah. you know, even building a relationship with him outside of, yeah, I was gonna outside say of this phone. How do you see that um, going forward? Um, it's just it's just an open door, I think. And I was talking to somebody about this recently about, I'd rather have a relationship with someone than you pay me one time. Mm. You know, I'd rather, have, I'd rather have, you know, I'd rather have these conversations than you pay me $100. But if I do this for free, we'll be forever connected. Like, right. you did that for me, and I'll always remember that. So for me, building relationships in the industry that is so full of people who are not very genuine, yeah. when they experience your true spirit, that's worth more than you you know, paying me 10 grand, and then we, we're very transactional. But 10 years from now, my daughter may need to go to – you know, broadcast class. You're like, you know what? My girlfriend, she could help. Right. You know, and so that relationship, that relationship lasts beyond this one instance. And so I feel like this Essence Fest was a seed planting Essence Fest for me. Oh, for sure. um, With a lot of companies and people. So um, I'm excited to see. I can definitely see your designs all around New Orleans. I'm I'm already, I'm already tapped in because I've already, you know, shot my shot. Like, y'all need to let me design this. And I keep saying it, but... 
the more they see me, they're like, you need to be here. I was like, no, I didn't do it. So people automatically assume I did it because I'm so like ingrained and in alignment. Yeah, I thought you did the, um, where were we at? The Carol's daughter front. Exactly. Front. I said, and I'm, exactly. I'm like, did she do this? Okay. And so what's so amazing is that people now are my agents. Like, you need to call my girlfriend Mel. Like, no. Mm. Call ABL. Call her. And so now... You're telling people, they're like, somebody just told me about this ABL girl. You must be her. And so even when I came to the studio, that was random. I was coming to pick up some art. Oh, wow. And he was like, you match this perfectly. He was like, how did you know? I was like, I was coming to pick something up. Oh, wow. And again, now he and I are connected. So just being yourself and showing up in these spaces, it will get you seen by who you need to see. Okay. Like, no matter what. And you, you have a really strong faith in God. And oh my I gosh! Love that. Yeah. Um, like y'all are besties. Okay? That's my dog. That's my I dog. Love the motivational videos. Yeah. But um, just you know, you said your dad was a pastor. Mm -hmm. Bring that back for us. Like, how important it is to have that faith along this entrepreneur business owner journey? I mean, to be a business owner is to have faith. Yeah. Um, we talked about off camera, like, what are you doing for money? Like, I yeah. always ask creators, and not even to be nosy, I'm like, how are you sustaining yourself? Yeah. And to wake up every day with the audacity to use your hands, <laughs> to use your mouth, to use your brain, to use your ideas, to have make a living, that's like, that's audacious faith. Mm. Um, and I've had that since I was little. I mean, just like the bee. You right. know, I'm small. You're gonna keep going. I walked in the room and she was like, I didn't realize how tiny you were. I was like, oh, but baby, I'm mighty. People you never, are. I'm barely 5'2", you know? And so I love that people assume I'm like a 5'8 chick or 5'9". I was like, no, my energy is so big and my faith is so big that I come in and fill up a room. And that's because I, I walk with 10,000 ancestors. I walk with a God that's bigger than we can ever imagine. And so it fills up the presence of a room. And so... People can't help but be like, well, who is that? What, what does she do? And your crown sits up high. Oh, and girl, okay. I'm telling you, yes, since I was does. little, even my senior pictures, I had on a hat. Oh. Like, I've always had to have something on my head. My mom was like, you've all, like, my dad had ball caps. I used to be in a diaper and hats. Like, that, that was always my thing. And so it's no mystery that I now have a brand that adorns oh. crowns mm -hmm. um, every day. And I love that I get to crown people around me. Um, and they, too, can have a crown. I love that. Mm -hmm. So you're from Miami. I am. Okay, what is it called? The three, what is it? 305. 305. Okay. All the way live. Let's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, so you a city girl? I am a seasoned city girl. Okay. Um, I always say Miami made, Atlanta paid. Mm. Um, I was definitely made to be everything who I am. The hustle um, you know, the cunning nature, the witty, like, you can't play with me, you know, I, I can hang with the dopest of the dope boys and the highest of the priests, um, you know, being a pastor's kid in Miami, it's almost like a, <laughs> it's almost like a, 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 a total opposite, um, I was there when it was cocaine cowboys with Miami Hurricanes. Okay. Um, I was in Miami when Miami was Miami, like, when South Beach became South Beach, before Wynwood was Wynwood. Um, and being in a city that was so known for the Caribbean flair, people from mm -hmm. the Bahamas, the color. So it was almost like I lived where people vacationed. I love that. So my dad used to take us on South Beach and ride us down the bridge. So we would soak up the opulence of like, let's go ride in neighborhoods that we can't necessarily afford, but one day we'll live here. And oh. so it made me a colorful dreamer, right? So you see the the colors of the the Cubans, the Puerto Ricans, the Haitians, the Jamaicans, mm -hmm. the Bahamians, and um, listening to Trick and Trina when they first came out. Like I was there when the album came out. Like you I was, was in, outside. Look at we it, we. I mean, that had to be like ninety six, ninety seven. Like some of y'all were just born in those okay. years. Uh, but I was like, dang, I didn't realize I was becoming this saucy you know, creative, this saucy entrepreneur. So even at Essence Fest, the first night, it was a pop-up concert with Trina oh, yeah. at a book yeah. sign. I was like, wait, Trina here? Cancel all my appointments. It's over. We're going to see Trina. And so, you know, I got to see her. And people are like, people are so, I'm in a head wrap, rapping Trina. They're like, oh, wait, the queen on Trina? I said, baby girl, Miami first, queen second. Okay, like, period. So do y'all have a relationship, you and Trina? Um, we've, like, you know, we've mentioned each other. Okay. I've seen her, met her several times. Um, a lot of my team knows her. I mean, we're not besties, but we're definitely, but, I've, uh, I'm familiar of her. With yeah. Other, yeah. Um, but I've manifested being in spaces with her yes. more than once. But I just respect her authenticity. 
uh, her being unapologetic mm -hmm. with her femininity. Um, and for me, it's like you being a PK, but it's like I'm still a woman. I'm still, a, you know, vivacious. Uh, I still have a saucy mouth. I'm still a Miami girl. So yeah. it's finding that I'm still balance. still showing my colors. Yeah, it's still showing up as your full self and not feeling, you know, like you have to water it down for anybody else. I love that. Yeah, I when I met you, like I did not know you was this this girl. All of that, all of that, all of that. All of that. And I, when I go into some rooms, I'd be a little nervous because yeah. I know I'm loud. I'm like, like you said, you walk in a room, people go, who's that? What you doing? Yeah. <laughs> You and I'm five two, almost yeah. five two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you, you know, you get to see women yeah. in this space that look like you. And I always say representation matters. It's everything. It's everything. You know, and and you being a self taught artist. Yeah, yeah. I think that's amazing. Yeah. Um, you know, I've like I I feel like I draw really close to creators because I used to draw and paint yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. So when I seen your creations, I think the first time I met you was at the Curls event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I seen these women yeah. in this wearable art and I'm like, this You're is You're like, who, who did this? Who did this? Where's this from? Yeah. Wow. So when you say wearable art, mm -hmm. did you know what you were doing at the time or were you just creating? So when I first started painting, um, I just was doing it out of like a need to, you know, just do something, mm -hmm. right? And so... First, you know, I was selling, 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 but I was selling stuff for like $20, $30. But when I started putting a price tag on it, yeah. it slowed down. And so as I did my research, black women are only like 0.5% that are in auctions, that are mm -hmm. in museums, that are in all of these spaces on walls and galleries. And I'm like, wait a minute, you know, why are we not selling no art? And so literally a light bulb went off and said, you need to start wearing it. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a, fl I'm a dresser, like, I'm the girl, like, where'd you get that from? And so I remember my dad, he was a design, designer of athletic gear. Wow. And so even to the moment he died, he died in a pair of pajamas that he designed. So he was like, he was a walking billboard for his stuff every day. And so I said, how can I find a way to merge that ideology with the ABL way? And so head wraps is the first way that I did that. And I just had gone natural. This was like 2017. And, you know, black women in their hair, it's Everybody a whole... it's a whole. It and trying different styles, I know. And my hair wasn't taking a product. <laughs> yeah. My edges weren't laying down. But I'm getting calls for interviews. Like I was like, what am I... I can't wear a hat because I don't really match the brand. And so I began to research art on fabric, mm. art printing, direct to fabric. And so this is... People don't believe this, but a couple reached out to me. They had just moved from Carolina. And they were trying to find someone that they could be their guinea pig for their new printer. Oh, wow. And it was a printer for fabric. That's and I was thing. like, "What?" I said, what's the catch? She was like, there is no catch. Like, we don't we don't really know what we're doing. We want to find, because we've been doing sports stuff. We want to do, like, fashion. Yeah. And so, girl, I was at their, at their studio within that next day on my lunch break with my badge on for my job. They printed me a pair of socks. And I said, okay, can y'all put it on fabric? And so we went through a whole book of fabric um, from a printer, and we landed on this particular texture because it was light enough, it was breathable, mm -hmm. and that was the beginning of the first head wrap. I said, I, I found my why. That's amazing. Are you still um, working with that that couple? I've got too big. Oh! So, yeah, I've, I've been through probably about four printers since then. Wow. I'm now officially, you know, once you go big, you go, you go, you go out of the country, uh -huh. so... I got my good girl Bonnie over in China. Okay. Uh, I can't even pronounce the city she lives in. Have you in. been over? Not yet. Not okay. yet. And so I just reached out to her. Alibaba, you know, caveat, do your research. You can find everything you need on one of these apps. Let's go. This little black square can make you a billionaire. Um, reached out to her, got some samples made, and they were able to spit out, I mean, hundreds of head wraps. My whole Essence Fest Five or six hundred head wraps in a week, That's you know, amazing. where I would have had to wait more and pay more things in the state. And so it just really showed me that one idea is all you need. Lead you to the next. This head wrap became a door mm. um, for yeah. a life Listen, and everything that I wanted to have. I and, you know, I'm going to do my research and things like that. Yeah. This article I read was probably uh -huh. 2018, uh -huh. and you were saying you wanted to have billboards, you wanted to yeah. have your designs on automobiles. Before it want, all happened. Uh, pre uh, conference rooms and things like that. What are some major things that have happened to you this year that you can attest to some of those things you talked about in that I mean, Forbes, Forbes interview, okay? I mean, even then, I had no idea, right. you know, but I am, going back to my faith, 
you got to say it before you see it. Mm -hmm. You got to believe it before you see it. You got to write it down before you see it. And you have to be bold enough to put it on camera like, oh, I will be married with 2.5 kids. I will, you know, like you got to say it. And even if it doesn't oh, happen, gosh. going back to that audacious faith, um, the nerve of you to have the audacity to believe that da 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 da. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's almost like God gets excited. Like, oh, you think I'm going to do it? I'm going to do it. You know, and I think for me, just recently, I was in a Goldman Sachs program. Mm -hmm. um, and again, 150 women, top leaders around the country, everybody doing their thing. But then there's ABL. Then there's me, you know, sitting in the back. And I was really I was really coming into the program very humble because I had done so many things. It was like, I really didn't need the program. But God right. was like, still go. Right. Um, got the nuggets I needed, a lot of the scaling up stuff. And so the photographer... She's like, there's something about you. I was like, who, me? You know, just being <laughs> coy. And, of course, I was wearing my stuff, but I was very, like, you know, in my own world. No humble. And she it. snapped a photo. She was like, when I snapped that photo, I knew the world needed to see it. Mm. And then I became the new face of the program. And on the last day of graduation, they take us to the top floor at Goldman Sachs. My face is this on the size, lit like a 20-foot window. Wow overlooking all of New York and it's my face and my words. And she was like, when I met you, I knew this moment had to happen. That was yeah. five months ago. And so, you know, when we pray these prayers, don't be afraid for them to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, don't be afraid for God to really show up and go above and beyond what you've asked for. So, you know, just the end of last year, I designed a NASCAR uh, yes. for Microsoft and the young man, the car had a number 24 on it. And I said, what does that number mean to you? He's like, oh, this is just the number they gave me. I said, well, 24 is your year. Mm -hmm. This was in 2023. And he was like, why do you say that? I said, no, something good is, I said, God is showing you 24, because they get different numbers when they get different cars. Okay. And he just so happened to have 24 on this car. And I said, God is saying, this is me just, you know, this being prophetic. Time, yeah. But he is now the youngest and the third black man who have ever won a NASCAR race. Oh, wow. That's and amazing. I designed his car. For the... For that, for those preparing for that race. Wow! And so I was like, three months later, because it happened. I I designed it for Art Basel, and so this happened in like March. I said, "What I told you about 24? <laughs> he said, "Yep, 24 was my year." And I said, "So when you have the the crazy like courage to believe, God will meet you there and then beat you and go above and beyond." Right. It. I was yeah. gonna say he's gonna you got a plan, but he gonna you gotta have go above bigger. it. But you gotta have a sheet of paper out like. Yeah. This is an open book test, but where's your book? Yeah. Where's your paper? I'm where's like, I your... have journals filled with ideas, and they're going to get, they're going to come off the I'm page, telling you, it's, but you, gotta it's write it you have to have the faith to, like, really believe, believe that it could happen. I love that. Yeah. And then you also did um, some things with Bloomingdale's and yeah. Coach. And, yeah. Um, you know, is that your, is this your first time in Bloomingdale's? I'm the first black woman, Period. 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 The first black artist in Bloomingdale's period. Um, and so, again, being prepared. So, end of last year, I had all these canvases because I'm, I'm a Michaels hoarder. If they got to sell, buy one, get, buy one, get whatever free. I don't care if it's a, a keychain free. They get me with those emails. And so, I said, you know, I'm just going to go to Michaels. And I just start stockpiling a bunch of um, canvas. And then one day in November, I said, let me just start painting. I start painting, and then my friend was like, what are you painting for? I was like, he was like, you got a show coming up? I was like, no, but I feel like I just need to you create. Need it out there. And so I had about 25, 22 to 25 pieces just ready, just laying around. I was just like, why, the, why am I painting all this stuff? Fast forward January, Alex from FW Style, she's like, Mel, hey, I know we ain't besties for the resties just yet, but I got an opportunity I think is perfect for you. They had an empty room. That they wanted to turn into an art gallery, she said. But they wow. need it. But they need about twenty pieces. And can you do it tomorrow? I could be there tonight. I said, actually, <laughs> I have twenty two pieces ready, and I could come today. Okay. And so that went from a small text message to a meeting with the store manager to, hey, would you mind us putting Melissa Mitchell Gallery up top? It turned into a whole experience. It turned into a two month thing. And now I'm in the guidebook of how to run an art gallery wow. through Bloomingdale's. And so, again, that preparation, meeting my prayers, like I'm not praying for opportunities. Right. I'm creating them before they come to me. I love that. Like I'm already painting. I'm already, you know, pitching. I already have clothes Did ready. Did y'all hear what she said? She already. She's creating before, before the, the opportunity call, comes. Before. Before. 
And so even with the content I've been putting out, like I'm speaking to my future self. This, mm. I don't mind talking to y'all, but this is to me. <laughs> like, Melissa, get right. out of the bed. Go to the gym, you know, uh, be ready. And even we talked about the gym, like I'm going to be on TV a whole lot more. So you got to get right. Yeah. So even looking at pictures from last Essence Festival, I was like, girl, I was a whole nother bra size. I was, I was like, I wasn't ready. But now you call me now, like you ready. did yesterday. Mm -hmm. I'll be there in the morning. I love that. Yeah, she was ready. I was like, oh, oh. You're like come on, we got to get right. We yeah, gotta get right. just got to be ready. You know, but yeah. even hearing you say that. That puts that in me as yeah, well. Yeah, just be like, ready. Be ready. Be ready. You know? Um, and then just overall, like, when it comes to what's next for you, mm -hmm. what do you see yourself preparing for? Like, you know, we have Fashion Week coming yeah. up. Do you yeah. see yourself doing any shows? Um, at Essence Fest, I planted a lot of seeds. And um, there are brands that are looking for out-of-the-box yes. girls like myself. So I've already, you know, shot my shot with a brand. But we'll see if it materializes. we got two months to make it happen. But again, I'm already designing as if they call me. So I'm already um, in the bag with a lot of things. I can say that I do have a collection coming out with Shein. Oh! Um, that's coming out next month. That's exciting! We uh, got an exclusive. Yo, yeah. What's some, what's some of the pieces? Um, I mean, you can expect the typical ABL flare. Okay. Um, two, I think two are coming out in August. Then it just asked for five more uh, last week. So wow. it'll be probably about 10 pieces before the year is up. Um, that's so that's huge. And I was hesitant at first because, you know, a lot of people think it's almost like when um, Mark Jacobs or no, Michael Kors had to decide did he want to go into TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Mm -hmm. um, when Fee Noel did the deal with Target. And or it's Carl, like Carl and, he Carl, and now he's went into Macy's mm -hmm. and it's like, do you want your brand to be completely unattainable by people or do you right. want to make it where it's digestible in different levels? Mm. And so when you have opportunities like a Walmart versus a Target versus, you know, a Costco or Sam's, you still want to use their pipeline of distribution. Yeah. Their huge network of 18 billion followers. You know, everybody goes to Target at some point. Everybody needs something from Walmart. And so instead of thinking you're too good for an opportunity, you create parts of your brand that could be digested by that that yes. audience. So I may be able to come up with a pair of socks from Walmart. I may come out with ties for Target. You know, I may come up with coolers for Costco. Um, and now they're like, well, who made this? And now they're Googling me. And now they're like, oh, I didn't know she made wash bands. Everything. I didn't know she made panties for Spanx. I didn't know she made head wraps for Hallmark. Yeah, I was so now ask you throughout all of the things you have suitcases. Yeah, suitcases, have... bed. I mean, I have curtains, I have rugs, I have tables, I have chairs, um, lampshades, um, screen savers for TVs, of course, watches, bras, underwear, um, leggings, dresses, shirts, jackets, kimonos. Wow. Um, Hair like hair scrunchie ties. I'm getting into baby clothes next. So uh, cute. So I mean, it's if I can get art on it, um, it's gonna get it on there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, listen, yeah. I am listen. I'm I'm sitting next to an amazing woman, y'all. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Now we love Atlanta, uh -huh. and um, it's been crazy out here when it comes yeah. to just everything that you're doing how do you maintain such a positive mindset but also mm -hmm. a positive village you have yeah. a village yeah. um behind mm -hmm. you and next to you i'll yeah. say next to you yeah what's that like because you meant you mentioned um alexandra and yeah. i just want to know like you know because i see y'all i see yeah. how y'all move together yeah. what's yeah. what's that overall like i mean you have to stop looking at people as your competition yes. um and it's easy to say that let me just say um, when it comes to social media, if people are too much like me, I don't follow them. Mm. Like if they're like, it's almost like their aesthetic is the same. Are there, I was like, I just rather not see it because when you plant those seeds in your head, it will mess with you. Like you could be the most confident be like, well, how, how Marissa get, how she get that? You know, like mm. why they call her? And it's like, you got to be careful because especially at night, like I, I went to bed looking at a baby page, of course. So I'm in my dream. I got to set a triplets. I said, wait a minute, where's this baby Ooh. stuff coming? I said, oh, the last thing I looked at was fro babies. Okay. I looked at the baby. Okay. So I said, but what if I would have looked at X, Y, Z before I went to bed? So now I look at dream trips. Mm -hmm. I look at dream houses before I go to bed. Um, on my, on my phone, I listen to waterfalls to remind me of like going on the trips. So I really have to program my mind because your mind never stops. Right. You take a break, but your mind is still. So if you're planting seeds of, well, why Melissa did this? 
why Keith got to do this? Why, you know, so now you're like, why am I allowing these thoughts of why, why, why? Yeah. So thank you for my opportunity. Thank you for Spanx. Thank you for this. So I have a gratitude box on the side of my bed. And if I ever get fretful, I was like, oh, that one day God did this. The other time, like, you have to go back to remember because we're so moving forward. We forget that God did a whole lot already. It, it, right. And today and if he And if he don't do nothing else, right. he don't did enough. And so for me... I have to make myself say, you know what? Like even when we talked about the gym today, I might go today, but I'm gonna. I've done a really good job this week. Mm-hmm. Like I went really hard. I ate well. I didn't eat out yesterday. I went home and cooked. cooked? Okay. You know, I, we got I deserve. Fridge. I have a. I deserve a day. You know, and you have to be easy. Like give yourself grace. Yeah. Like be hard on yourself, but also give yourself grace. And so going back to the tribe. Going back to the people around you, you know, I have a really good tight family. You know, my parents, it was three of us, three girls, my sisters and I, you know, we grew up as a corporation. Like, can't nothing come between our our circles. Like, you can't penetrate this circle. And so when it comes to, like, my sorority sisters, like, Mm -hmm. just because I'm in a sorority, I am an AKA. Mm -hmm. doesn't mean everybody's your sister. It's having that discernment. But going back to that spiritual life, you got to have that keen discernment. Like, what she really wants? Right. Like I get calls for interviews all the time. I turn them down most of the time. Because, I figured. I, yeah, because you, like yeah, very. I'm, I can, I can like you. I yeah, can see but you, you have to. You yeah. have to be like even when it comes to parties. Oh, yeah. I don't need to be seen everywhere. I don't need to be like you. Always out. You don't ever hear. Any, so when I'm come out, they're like, oh my god, Melissa here, child. Let's get a picture. She'll yeah. never be out. And so I want you to miss me. I want you to feel like you can't get my brand. Like I want you to, I want my my brand to sell out. And now the next one, you like the first one in line. You create that scarcity model not only with your product but with your energy. Mm-hmm. Like, wow, I wish I could hang out with her. She don't be, I need she to don't. Be next to her. Like, I nah, be no, because it becomes like an energy. It becomes like an energy sucker. But it's like you're trying to suck the energy out of me. And I could feel like, because I'm such an empath. Yeah. So like, you know, if I feel you need me a lot, like, listen, I ain't got the energy for that. Mm-hmm. Like, and especially the way I, I create my art, I pour so much into it. Like, this is, I'm giving you me. With every piece you get, you're getting a piece of me. And so I had to realize that people just want your energy. Yeah. They want they want to know why you get picked. So they're like, well, I just want a piece so of I her. Can get, so I can get it. So I, so I protect that by just saying no. So I just be at home. I be in my be in my little fuzzy socks, painting, creating, you know, and you create a sanctuary in your home. You know, we yeah. talked about the decor, like you create that sanctuary and you stay in that vibe. You never gotta leave. Yeah, I don't like leaving. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Before we get out of here, what are some of um, the brands that you see yourself collaborating with in the near future? Um, well, I mean, I got some right here. Okay. <laughs> so I already have a huge collection out oh. that came out last week with Hallmark. <gasps> And so, I love Hallmark. these head wraps are already, this one I already wore. Uh, but this head wrap is already on Hallmark.com. I love it. Um, mahogany. And so, these have gone crazy. So, we actually, so let me tell you how creative I am. So, Essence Fest is always a bye, 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 gimme, gimme, gimme. But what I did was I bridged my relationship with Hallmark Mahogany and I got them to sponsor um, a couple of hundred head wraps to give out. Wow. And so wow. people were able to fall in love with the ABL brand without having to give, because these cost $55 a Y'all piece. Y'all see these colors? I mean, okay. just beautiful. I mean, just beautiful. Come on, QR. Yeah. Let's so go. You can't never, Listen. you can't, you pull my tag off, you got to cut the whole fabric. And I learned that, that, yep, I learned that a long time ago because I'm a tag puller. I'm like, this tag is it's itching. But if it's in the fabric, you're like, well, let me go on and get on this website. And so you can always be connected to me. And so I think that's important as a brand is that finding ways to stay connected to build that relationship. So even if you never talk to me again or lose my website, you lose my whatever, you'll always be connected. And so on top of that, you ask what's next. Look at these colors. Girl, listen, I am now, um, next week, I'm debuting this for a hair show, a natural hair show. Um, in Biloxi, Mississippi, and we named these two head wraps um, after the founder's mother who passed away. Um, and now she's dedicated her life to teaching people about their hair, um, you know, educating, yeah, educating black women on beautifying themselves Excuse with me. what they have. You don't need enhancements, not to judge people who do, but just embracing who you are. And I feel like these head wraps have allowed me to connect with women. Um, and get in their head, head wrap, right? 
um, and just say, hey, you're beautiful the way you are. Like, if, if you don't get to do nothing else with your life, you find the way you are. And so being able to connect with these large brands, um, their platforms, and just showing people that art goes beyond the canvas. Um, that has been, too. oh yeah, my nail tech don't listen, play by me. Listen. Um, but just going beyond the canvas. And many people say, oh, you're an artist. I said, yeah, no, I'm a lifestyle artist. Yes. Like I create a whole lifestyle, it's a brand. It's in me. It's in me, it's on me, and now it's on you. Um, and I think for me, I think artists need to know that if it doesn't work out in one lane, be open to 11 yes. other lanes. And that's what I've been, been able to do. I love yeah. that. Tell the people where we can find you yes. at, how we can support. Yes. And that, you know, I'm glad you came, girl. Well, you know, humbly speaking, I'm easy to be Googled. Um, I'm Melissa A. Mitchell on all platforms. And my Instagram is ABL Creations. And that's A-B-E-I-L-L-E -L -L -E, Creations. And if you go to MelissaAMitchell.com, you can connect to all of my different platforms. And, you know, I think if I had to, like, have a culminating ending thought is that, You'll never know who you can be unless you try. Mm -hmm. And if you don't try, you'll guarantee not to become that person. Um, and every shot you don't take, you'll never make. Uh, and that is me. I have shot so many shots. Some have not made it, but the two that have, have ended me on billboards, have, have ended on you know NASCAR, have ended me on uh, all kinds of platforms and stages. But, I mean, again, you'll never know until you try. So at least try.